Hello everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 as Arnold Schwarzenegger, Duke of Steiermark. So yeah, uh, Asturias has fallen apart, Sweden now owns south of uh, England, and what is this? Sutre Yevar. Oh, yeah, so this guy owns a couple of provinces over here. Anyways, Burgundy now uh, controls uh, Tuscany, which is nice, but the Count of Corsica has risen up in rebellion. Uh, but he and he's brought in Bulgaria, who's our ally, actually, I believe. Um, we have actually this guy's ally as well. Anyways, so he has risen up, and um, yeah, he brought in uh, Byzantium. Well, our dude did. So yeah, we'll see how that works out. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna win. I don't want to commit any troops because I think Byzantium can do that. I'm not too keen on just using my troops for this, um, but yeah, we'll see. Now we could have probably Clementia, my daughter, and that's his first daughter. He has two sons, Patrick, Arnold, three daughters. She's the first one. Um, she could probably marry the King of Galicia. Um, who can she marry matrilinea? Nobody. So we're gonna keep, we're gonna wait for that. We're not gonna marry her just yet. Um, because there's no reason. She does have good claims. Um, we might be able to press some of those. But yeah, not right now. Doesn't doesn't matter at the moment. And Yeah, so we have once we get this claim and get Austria, which I hope we will in this episode, um, then I can actually claim Balaton and we'll take over that duchy. And then we could form a kingdom, quite possibly. Mm, maybe not. Don't know. But yeah, what is this? Children Arnold, who is Catherine's first... So that's the first son, Arnoldo. Um, so I probably... Yeah, I only have one ward, so I will educate him myself. No, I'm gonna do it myself. Thank you. There you go. Uh, the twists and turns of Arnoldo's tongue and the white lies he uses to make friends is making my head spin. How can such a young lad be able to lie so well? That's good. That is good. Be deceitful. It helps you later on. So yeah, I mean, you lose two diplomacy, but you get three intrigues. So in, in total, you, da uh, you gain um, one skill. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, my son, uh, John Connor, he died on suspicious circumstances. Was he not... I think it was betrothed to somebody. Was he not? I don't know. Yes, the Duchess of Elzas. He was uh, betrothed to this woman, and he died. Someone had her, had him killed. Probably this guy or her. Yes, I think that was the case. Somebody had him killed. Uh oh. At the age of 15, almost ready to make some babies. Hmm. That is suspicious. But we could marry her again. Um, this lady. We could. We have T600. I think that's what we're gonna do. And Hugo. Who's Hugo? My grandson. He's also strong. Yeah, we're gonna send uh, T600 in there. Of course. Not matrilinear, regularly. He's 13, so he could uh, step up. There goes the big battle of Corsica. Wow. Are they actually losing? Seems like. Interesting. But now, yeah, they're, now they want the big decisive battle. That's good. So, war's over. And let's come to my attention. This Chancellor of Balaton has a claim. Whatever. Don't use it. And there's the Duke of Bulgaria. And she actually claimed my stuff. That is bad, because she's allied to Byzantium. She's actually married to Byzantium. But Byzantium is also my ally, so we'll see how things work out. Anyways, we've we've won that. Burgundy is very powerful. It's going to be in our hands very soon. Not too soon, but soon enough. Arnoldo. It's our direct... No, it's not our direct line. Whatever. Still, better than nothing. I wonder what happens if we get the Duchy of Berry, because that we will be independent. And uh, kind of scared what happens. Uh, we'll ignore that. We need a new Kurt Chaplin. This one sounds great. Prove religious opinion. Okay. 
How many men can we raise? 3,000. And Clementia wants to marry. Alright, I'll find you, I'll find you someone, someone nice. Um, the Duke of Gascony. King of Galicia. Um, yeah, I don't know who to marry, really. I would love to marry your matrilineal simply because of the claims, but they cannot be inherited anyways. Um, I could marry you for a alliance, probably. Uh, but we're not gonna get one anyway, are we? Well, that, well, maybe we will get one once we're Patrick. I think, yeah. So maybe the Duke of Gascony. Is that Gascony? No, that's Toulouse. He's actually powerful. If you look at it, if you look at vassals, this is the Duke of Tas uh, Gascony. And that would be a powerful ally, especially if we have Barry. So yeah, we're gonna pick him, and this will create a alliance as soon as we take over Barry, which would sh uh, which would help us once we have to fight West Francia, if we ever have to. But yeah, that would be certainly powerful. I like how Burgundy took over Tuscany, it's it's awesome. I don't know how it happened, and I don't really care anyways. I'm just happy that it did happen. And King Rockerack. Who are your ally again? Who's your ally? Doesn't say. Some king. And we've been called in by Byzantium. In his revolt. I mean, I guess I join. I don't want to lose 100 prestige, but... Oh well. As long as he doesn't attack me, that's fine. I can call in my allies. Not interested. Look at all of these guys. They're all, they're all being called in immediately, it seems like. Alright, no, this is the this is his wife, who was our tributary for a long time. And the Magyars. Let's see who's the strongest nation right now. Byzantium. Saddle my horses. We're not even on the list, but I guess that makes sense. We're just a duchy, but Burgundy's almost on the first page, almost. Um, Lotharingia, uh, the Papacy, the Baria. We're nowhere near this. Actually, we should be. We have three thousand men. Oh, there we are. Go away, children. Um, you know what? My daughter, Shantia. Greedy or charitable? Mm, probably make a charitable. Well, this didn't happen. Anyways, we build our castle town. And let me check this again. So we are over here, right below Lotharingia. We could almost beat Lotharingia. I'm pretty sure we could with our mercenaries. Hmm. Just don't have a claim, which is unfortunate. We need claims. Give me a claim on a kingdom. Ah. Can't even declare one this guy because we don't order him. <sighs> I wish this guy would be excommunicated. And this child clearly has potential. I always like to press that one because Gregarious is a great trait. I love it. I love it a lot. Um, my own failure, of course. Let's lose the prestige. Don't want to make someone else responsible for this. Not my way. Three thousand men, three thousand four hundred actually. So let's let's build one more barracks, stables, light cavalry, circuit passages. Hmm. They'll probably help us, but actually, this is good. Training grounds, morale of armies, level reinforcement, retinue size plus twenty. Um. Yeah. That's a no-brainer, actually. Let's, let's pick training grounds. Do we have a retinue? No. Ah, retinue is really powerful. Yeah, this war should be over quickly. And the son was born again. Wow. Catherine. She's no longer depressed, which is good. Um, and not a strong guy. He, Arnold, he also has Arnoldo Hugo. Wow, he has three strong sons. That is great. Uh, wow. So Burgundy's line is very powerful. 
I'm happy. It's gonna be all suits, niggas. Calling is still the most powerful Catholic kingdoms, or... Well, kingdom is West Francia, but still the most powerful Catholic family. But soon enough, the Sudsnegas will rise to power. And the Magis are just going nuts. Going even stronger. They, they're taking over so much. They're at war again. Um, attacking war for Vladimir. And they're almost done. So I wonder what happens once they reach 100. 98? Where's Vladimir anyway? Oh, uh, this one. Okay, that's not too big. They're all declaring holy wars, probably. And my wife is pregnant once again. Very good. That bastard. And sadly, he died. Now, T600 is going to take over, hopefully. If he doesn't die again. She's depressed. Ah. I want that duchy for my family. We need power. The war against Tyranny has won. Well, against Byzantium's Tyranny. Not our Tyranny. We know Tyrant. And the Magius took one more county. They have uh, two of the. Oh, okay, so they've. They've just hoard land here. Good for them. So let's check out the uh, government type. Yeah, a lot of nomadics. Wow. And we died of old age. You have a new heir, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. So yeah, it's 74. That's a really long life. I'm happy. So be it. Um, okay. Interesting. So let's check out what position we're in right now. Um, no longer the guardian of two kids. She's no longer guardian. Okay. All right. So we are now ruling. We lost our uh, thingy. Who are we allied to? Byzantium, Burgundy, and Bulgaria. Duchess of Dusk, uh, Duke of Duscany, uh, Gascony, Gascony. Damn it. And we're depressed. I hate this. Why is everyone depressed in this freaking game? This is so annoying. Um, but oh well. Uh, let's choose an ambition. We want to become king of Bavaria, yeah, just like our father. Definitely. And we want to have a focus. Mm, we need some marshals. So let's go for war. Actually, well, here's the thing. Hunting is just so good. Uh, but we're going to go, because of the health, the extra health, I just like taking that but we're gonna go for war um which allows us to duel this guy his dual skill is negative whereas our dual skill is positive yes duel him see what happens um did our rival just die no he's still there okay we'll, we'll see what happens that craven i don't know why he's my rival he probably impregnated my wife or something he has wow he has a lot of lovers at least he, tr yeah, I guess he at least tried. So the hunchback does not have anyone educating her. So Catherine, do that, of course. Arnoldo, we're gonna have to, who's he? He's my nephew. I'll educate him personally. Um, she just gets somebody. Helfrich, sure, my half-brother. And she also just gets somebody, I don't care who it is. Yeah, my half-sister, great. So let's see what happens in the duel. The coward Count Lupo of Empuris has chosen to flee and hide rather than accept your duel. Pathetic. So pathetic, that dude. Yeah, craven he is. So, well, that sucks. I thought there was some uh, action going on. I didn't even get prestige for that or anything. I got nothing. Oh, well. I have a claim on Nunbak, but it's only weak. Well, uh, we didn't really exactly inherit a fortune, and we're making significantly less money now than we did before, but that's mostly because we're no longer Midas Touch and only a fortune builder. Um, 
That's alright though. We're not as great as our father was. Duke Arnold. But we have three oh yeah, we have three counties, never mind, yeah. That's what we're supposed to have. Okay. But we really have to wait for an opening now. There's there's nothing else I can do at this moment. I'm waiting for the claim. Um what is this? Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Um so yeah, what's going on over here? This guy is 50 years old. Hopefully he's gonna die to a lunatic. And then this guy's gonna take over my spy master. He's very ambitious. Mastermind theologian. I envy him on his three strong kids that he has. And what is this? Borgallian claim on Ruska. I'll accept. Let's see who we're fighting now. Nobody important. High Chief Fala. And this is Croatia. Spoleto's on our side as well. well. Let's go running. Hopefully we get strong. That would be nice. Uh, but no. We are gaining the Roth trait. <laughs> that is not as useful. But well, three marshals still pretty good. I like that. No, I'm actually happy. And this guy could turn out cruel. I will pray for his soul. It did not help. Uh, gods be good. Another daughter was born. And the first daughter, actually. Um, Ammon God. Sounds awesome. How many m people do we have? Uh, 20 living members. So the first one to die was actually um, John Connor. <laughs> under suspicious circumstances. And the second uh, suits negative to die was Arnold. But those are the only ones who have died so far. Um... Yeah, but our father d definitely did a great uh, lot. He did he did um, grow very powerful in the beginning, but as soon as he was independent, he stopped. I think his independence was too quick. He should have uh, sworn fealty to someone else. Um, would have been much more useful. We can now call in more allies. I don't think I want to. It's not my war. God will know that I support the church. 30 gold. Jesus, no. <laughs> this is way too expensive. I don't need piety. I don't need piety. Still building the training grounds. Actually, how many men can we raise right now? Yeah, significantly less than our father. Oh well. And another daughter was born to ooh, Bulgaria. So that's Folkmar. Wow. Strong and attractive. Well, I'm gonna know how this name is gonna be Arnold. Strong and attractive. Just like my father. Okay. Interesting. And my half sister's niece, Clara. Sounds good. <laughs> so, yeah, so the strong and attractive traits do. are still now DNA. We just haven't gotten it. Do we have any strong kids? She actually has. a daughter. She's born a. Okay, she was given birth to a daughter. Not of our house, of course. Anyway. And we have this hunchback. This craven. Okay. We don't have anyone strong, unfortunately. Mm. Oh well. So that, how does this look? Um, almost ready to marry. He's ambitious and has a claim on my duchy. That is a little bit worrying, but... Oh well. He doesn't look particularly like me. Now he's come of age, he's a brilliant strategist. Nice, and he can marry, and we will obviously send that offer. Don't accept hers, because she's gonna trick us. There you go. Okay, so yeah, if they make a baby, she's no longer depressed, good. If they make a baby, we're gonna get one more duchy of a family. Perhaps I should have taken rulership. We still have that trait route? No, we don't. Another war uh, against Italy. Burgundian claim on Genoa. Wow, this guy is really... He's going good. He has so many claims that he could press. Claim more of them. My family needs them. So we're now fighting Italy. Um, is it just me? No, he's brought in Byzantium as well. Okay. I, I don't think I need to do anything about this. I don't want to raise my troops because they're just going to cost me money. 
There's no reason to do that. And since it's, since it's an offensive war, I would also uh, piss off my vassals if I siege, if I uh, raise their men. Anyways, uh, that was the end of the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Now, uh, since there's not too much going on, I will be going off camera a little bit, see for any openings, and if something interesting happens, I will come back next time. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Steve Tarka, signing off.